Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add volumetric light rays into your scene inside of DaVinci Resolve. Right, so here I have two clips. I think these two footage are a prime example of how you can add light rays into your scene. For example, in this clip, you can see that we have a light source over here and maybe we can use this to add light rays inside the scene. And also on this second clip, we have this window from where the light source is coming into the scene so we can you know use this as a source for our light all right now in the effects panel we are going to search for light rays and if it's not visible then chances are you have clicked on uh, one of these categories over here so just make sure you click on open effects and then you will see light rays so just drag that onto your clip and this is how it is going to look now the very first thing we will do is we'll change the uh, position so as you can see i have this uh, controller over here on the screen and that's because i have enabled the open effects overlay so in your case it will be on transform by default and it will be disabled like this so just click on it and click on open effects overlay and then make sure that it is enabled just make sure it's white over here and then you can just move this on your sun or anywhere any other location you have the light source coming in from and then you can change the source threshold make it a little bit brighter if you just move the slider to the left it will just make it a little bit brighter and then we'll just increase the length i'd like to set this to 100 and brightness let's also increase that 100 and then soften we will just set this to the minimum value which is zero and then we can pick the color and i'm going to kind of uh, use the same color as our sun ray over here and click on ok then in the composite type we are going to set this to screen and then in the global blend we will just reduce that opacity like so um, now in the ray drop off just click on it and from this list select keep shape of source i think it looks kind of more realistic uh, but if you just you know set this to default value just the rays go off continuously off the screen as you can see over here uh, but if you set this to like keep shape of source i think that looks much more realistic right you can see that how our rays are now moving in the scene yeah now what you can do is to make it more realistic you can add in a dust particle overlay so i got this from pixels i'll just leave a link to it in the description all these footages are from pixels and you just make sure you go to composite mode and set this to add or you can even set this to i think we'll set this to lighten and because if i set this to add it just changes the color a little bit of our scene so if i disable this you can see the color before and if i now enable it this is the color after so i'm going to change this to lighten and now if i disable the track can see it's it kind of retains the uh, color like so uh, now you can do the same thing in the second clip over here drag in the light rays but this time instead of using the from a location option over here we will set this to an angle um, so now you can pick any angle over here so let's just uh, change the slider and uh, set this to negative 65 and I'm going to change the source threshold a little bit and ray drop off. We set this to keep shape of source, increase the length, increase the brightness. And I'm also going to change the composite type to screen. And yeah, what else? You can change all these settings over here. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the blend amount. Um, so yeah, go ahead and play around with these settings. See what works best for you. I disable the light rays this is before and now this is after and again I can just pull the alt key and or the option key on the Mac and create a copy of this uh, overlay and I have the same overlay on this footage as well but if I just disable the video track underneath uh, you can see most of our dust particles are coming in from the left side and since in our footage in the second footage our light source is somewhere on more towards the right bottom right corner so i'm just going to um, just change the transform of this um, 
of this overlay over here. So I'm going to click, I'm going to select that clip and then click on this option that says flip. So now that will move the particles from this location to this one. So let me just disable this track again. And you can see now our particles are coming in from the right side. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you can add more uh, volumetric light rays inside your scene. That is pretty much it. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.